Hey, Rendo, Steve here. Welcome back to the channel. So as you can see right here, we've got ourselves some Wrestle Juice already on the screen. I'm watching Wrestle Juice, and you guys are watching Wrestle Juice. Watch Wrestle Juice. That's right. It's time for some Wrestle Juice Inception. That's right. Today I'm gonna look at my predictions for all the main event matchups for WWE Premium Live Events 2024. I did this video back January 7th. 2024. I'm going to go ahead and see how bad I am at predicting. I believe this was right before Elimination Chamber. I think that was the first premium live event of the year. And then I think in tomorrow's video, I'm going to go ahead and predict all the premium live event main events for the rest of the year. See how bad I am this time with it. Yeah. LA yeah. night. And I got to thinking when I heard that this was gonna Oh man, look at that long hair back. I got to get a haircut again. I got I like when it's I like when it's shorter. Anyway, sorry. Gonna be uh, the title match. I don't know if it's going to be the main event. Usually one of the rumble matches, usually the men's rumble match is what main events the show. But I yeah, that main event of the show, I, maybe with all the star power here, they'll give us Reigns, Orton, uh, L.A. Knight and A.J. Styles and whoever wins the rumble. Cody uh, will come out and confront Roman Reigns. I per OK, so Cody did, in fact, win the rumble and then he pointed at Roman Reigns. And not Seth Rollins setting up his WrestleMania uh, uh, win over Roman Reigns, even though they want you to believe that The Rock versus Roman Reigns was supposed to happen at some point. I'm still waiting for that damn documentary to come out, uh, the, detailing everything that went went down backstage. So we'll we'll figure that one out. Jesus Christ! One thing I noticed is that my old camera uh, really covered up. All the old in my face. And this one here with my new my, my filter on it, you can see every goddamn liver spot on my face <laughs> and every wrinkle. Oh, I'm so old, everybody. <laughs> Personally, I think Punk's probably going to win the Rumble, but whatever, that's a, a different video we'll do. So I thought, all right, so now I'm going to take a look at Elimination Chamber since uh, I pr pretty much got the Royal Rumble, right? Everybody knows that the men's Rumble always main events the Royal Rumble. So let's see what I have to say about the Elimination Chamber uh, that I think at that point we all knew was coming to you from Perth. So surely, surely Rhea Ripley would be main eventing that show, right? Chamber, it's happening from Pith, Australia. Pith. My throat gave out trying to do an Australian accent. And uh, in my opinion, I kind of feel like it's a foregone conclusion. Oh, that's a ter oh, what a terrible thing to say. Terrible thing to say. <laughs> there you go. It's going to be The no! Rock versus Roman Reigns. No, it's not going to be that. It did, They wanted that for WrestleMania, you idiot. That I don't even know when that's going to happen at this point. Rock versus Roman Reigns. Oh, that's, what do I have to say about this one? Come on, Perth is laying down all this money. There's been reports that they very specifically are laying down a lot of money to get The Rock over. Not enough money, apparently. Let's see what else. What was the next one? Well, the next one was uh, WrestleMania, I think. All right, let's move on. After that, we've got Mania Night 1. Of course, Rhea Ripley ended up main eventing Perth, which is not shocking at all. I really, boy, that was a swing and a miss on that one. According to my prediction here. Just... All right, so obviously I'm saying Night 1 is going to be CM Punk versus Seth Rollins. I still, I'm, you gotta wonder what would have main event at night one had CM Punk not been injured. If he hadn't been injured, they probably would have still done Punk versus Rollins, but then how would they have gotten around the whole Rock, Cody, Roman, Seth Rollins thing? I don't know. I mean, maybe it was just sort of a thing where they were like, well, we don't have to worry about that because Punk is injured, so that's not really a problem we need to worry about solving. But Punk versus Rollins seemed to be the direction they were going. Punk has said as much uh, for that main event. Uh, I think I'll, I'll, I should get the night two main event right, though. Let's move on to night two. And, of course, we've got Roman Reigns versus Cody. Of course, Roman Reigns versus Cody. Cody's got okay, God damn. Thank you for once. I got one of these right. Because I don't think I get any. <laughs> I don't think I get any of the others right. Right? Because I, I, they kind of remember this. So then we got the draft. Oh, God. Okay, here we go. Next pay-per-view after WrestleMania, of course, is going to be Backlash because he got the Mania and then he got the Backlash to Mania. True. And the main event for Backlash, because it's in, not because it's in Paris, France, but it's in, it's not even in Paris, France. Paris, France. It's uh, not in Paris, it's Lyon. Uh, is uh, uh, Rhea Ripley versus Bianca Belair. I feel like maybe, because mm. they've teased this before, Bianca, via the draft, 
is going to be moved over to Raw. No. And that's where she's going to finally challenge Rhea Ripley for the World Heavyweight Championship. And be at a backlash? What are you, an idiot? That's a WrestleMania match. They're going to do that next year at WrestleMania 41. Maybe, maybe not. They might not even do it then. That might be Bianca versus Jade. They might not get to Bianca versus Rhea Ripley for another couple of years. Big dummy. Anyways, let's move on to the next one because nobody wants to hear me talk like twice. Uh, what's after Backlash? I forget. Let's find out. On now to Night of Champions. It's our first Saudi Arabia paper. <laughs> Premium live event. <laughs> Wait, what was after that? Hold on a second. Stand and deliver. Oh, yeah, that's right. They did King and Queen of the Ring. Cody Rhodes versus Logan Paul ended up main eventing that. What did I say was going to happen? Of the year. And they love their big main events. Drew McIntyre. Huh? Who has moved over to SmackDown? No, he's not via the draft. No, that didn't happen. Is going to be challenging Cody Rhodes no, at not. Night of Champions. Roman Reigns is nowhere to be found, and that might drive the the Saudi Arabian government mad. But maybe you know Cody Rhodes will be the bright shiny toy, and uh, and he'll be there at Saudi Arabia. Yeah, people love Cody Rhodes. Saudi Arabia loves Cody Rhodes. Uh, yeah, I was right about that one thing though. Roman Reigns is nowhere to be found. I don't know when Roman Reigns is going to show up. But tomorrow on my predictions video, I'll, I'll tell you when I think he's going to show up. It's probably going to be the end of SummerSlam. But uh, but yeah, no. So this didn't happen. It was it was Cody Rhodes versus Logan Paul. But I thought I was kind of on the right track ish. There weren't a, there's not a lot of options for Cody Rhodes. That's why they're revisiting AJ Styles right now because there's just not a lot of options for him right now. Money in the Bank, Seth Rollins versus. Oh, I thought Seth was going to win at WrestleMania in the Bank. And the main event there. And here's my idea for Damian Priest. Oh, because yeah. this guy can't seem to cash in for nothing. Oh, he yeah, but he sucks did, at though. cashing in. That he did, though. So he doesn't suck. He gets to critical in. point, right? He's like, okay, listen. Okay, yeah, yeah. So my idea, I think, was Damian Priest does he doesn't get to cash in. And so he does end up cashing in uh for my, like he's like, okay, well, I can't, I don't know. There's no opportunity, so I'm just gonna do it at money in the bank. And then I think like Drew, I, what did I say here? I'm gonna cash this in. And he's going to announce it ahead of time for the main event of Money in the Bank. The premium live event where his contract will expire. So he says, I'm going to cash it in there. I'm just going to do this main event because I can't seem to cash in. So he's going to challenge Seth Rollins, who still has a World Heavyweight Championship. He's going to challenge Seth Rollins at Money in the Bank. What happens earlier in the show? Drew McIntyre wins Money in the Bank. So Damian Priest beat Seth Rollins for the World Heavyweight Championship, and then Drew McIntyre cashes in, winning the World Heavyweight Championship at the end of Money in the Bank. And I kind of feel like that sort of, the, the turn. So if the actual main event that I'm talking about here happens, which the final match would be Damian Priest as world champion after he beat Seth Rollins, being cashed in by Drew McIntyre, I still... I still think there's a chance that could happen. I still think there's a chance Damian Priest somehow wins at Clash at the Castle and then at Money in the Bank, Drew McIntyre wins and cashes in on Damian Priest at Money in the Bank and walks out champion. That's still a possibility. I don't give it a very good chance of happening, but I think it's still a possibility. I think it might be kind of cool. I still want to see Drew win at Clash of the Castle, though. I think that'd be best. Bash in Berlin. No, Bash no. in Berlin is after SummerSlam. Yes. So SummerSlam is probably going to happen. When does SummerSlam happen now? Early August. I think that's yeah. when it was last year. This is the big rematch between Cody and Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns loses this time, but unlike at WrestleMania where there were shenanigans where he was trying to cheat, he doesn't do that now. He's a man alone. Cody beats him fair and square, and that's sort of where you see that there's been a change in Roman Reigns. He's sort of at peace. Now he's what they call a good guy, and he shakes Cody Rhodes' hand afterwards, something he didn't do at WrestleMania, and he puts over Cody Rhodes as this is the guy. Okay, so kind of what I'm saying here makes sense. Roman obviously is gonna come back as a big baby face, but it seems like it's more likely that he's gonna come back in response to bad bloodline, which I don't know why I didn't see that in the first place. I, I thought, oh wait, no, that was super early in the year. So yeah, I don't know, it kinda would have made sense that bad bloodline would be a thing, given that like there was still a lot up in the air in early January. 
But uh, but yeah, no, Roman Reigns coming back just by himself with no story involving the bloodline didn't really seem realistic. I don't know why I didn't anticipate that one. But uh, yeah, Cody versus Roman. I don't think it's likely to happen at SummerSlam. I've got a different idea for that, which I'll drop in my predictions video. But just for the sake of uh, whatever, let's go and see what else I predicted for uh, this year. All right, so Gunther versus Logan Paul at Bash in Berlin. I don't really see that one happening. Logan Paul is still the United States champion. Gunther is no longer intercontinental champion, but I think there's a good chance that he's going to be trying to get that world heavyweight title at Bash in Berlin. That makes some amount of sense, but I guess we'll see. I'm going to do my actual predictions where I give you who I think he's going to be taking on in Berlin. Uh, I'll do that one tomorrow. But uh, but yeah, I, I don't really see Logan Paul happening. Uh, what else do we have here? At Fastlane, I've got Drew McIntyre versus CM Punk. That match has got to happen at some point, but I kind of feel like it's going to happen at SummerSlam because Drew is going to win, I think, in Scotland. So I could see that taking place at SummerSlam, but it's not going to main event SummerSlam. It'd be cool if it was given its own pay-per-view. And then the next Saudi show, Crown Jewel, Roman Reigns versus Randy Orton. Uh, yeah, I don't know what I have. Oh, I know what I have. I've got, I've got something different than that. Again, Roman Reigns is going to be deep into this bloodline story. And if this was my idea of just like Roman is man alone, uh, I understand why I went there, but I don't think that's going to be the case. Although this one right here, oh, Team Cody versus Team <laughs> Not Quite Shield. I remember this one. <laughs> oh, that's pretty funny. Let's, what did I actually say about that? Which, of course, these days is war games. And here's what I got for war games. Look, I'm not even taking myself seriously. You got Team Cody versus Team Roman. This time, Team Cody is going to be Cody Orton. It's like fake Team Legacy, right? It's like Team Not Actually <laughs> Legacy. Because you got Cody, you got yeah. Orton, no uh, DiBiase. You do, however, have uh, LA Knight. I don't, I don't think DiBiase is available. <laughs> who at one point was actually aligned with Ted DiBiase. LA Knight's in there. So there's kind of a legacy connection there. And then he got uh, uh, Kevin Owens and he got Sami Zayn. And Kevin Owens came back to, no, uh, uh, Sami Zayn came to SmackDown. No, he didn't. Via the draft, reuniting that, that, him and Kevin. Well, I was changing everybody in the draft. Oh, it's because it's kind of clear that they're not really doing a lot with Kevin Owens. He might win that U.S. title, but I don't know about that. Against Team Not Quite Shield. Remember, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is actually pretty good. Shield debuted. It was to help out CM Punk. Well, yeah. now Team Not Quite Shield is Roman Reigns, CM Punk, Seth Rollins, and you can't have Dean Ambrose, but you can't have the reunited Usos who make good after Roman Reigns becomes a good guy. They all make up. They're back together as either a tag team or just singles guys who happen to be. Brothers. All right. All right. Shut up. I like Hey, You know what? I kind of like that. I don't think it's going to happen. I think I'll give you a spoiler for my uh, predictions video for tomorrow. Uh, it's going to be good bloodline versus bad bloodline. But who's going to be on those bloodline teams? You got to find out by watching the video tomorrow. It's either tomorrow or the next day. I don't know when I'm releasing this thing. I don't know if it's going to. I don't know. But uh, check out my next video. By the time it goes up, if you're just watching this, you're not watching that yet, I'll put a little bug up here for it, or it'll be at the end of this video. So, yeah. Anyways, what do you guys think about all that? What do you guys think about my predictions for premium live events? I like some of my fantasy book in there, but I kind of feel like none of that. I did not do well there predicting. Uh, but, uh, but, yeah, hopefully I'll do better uh, now that I'm doing it again. So, hey, do me a solid. Hit that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you guys around.